Hi everyone. The original video I made for Theme Builder was for version 3.1.2. That is for the Utah release of ServiceNow. Fast forward two years and eight releases later, we are now up to version 5.0.3. That is for the Yokohama release. And something very special has occurred in this release. Because it is now possible in Theme Builder to change the appearance of the unified navigation component. That is the menu bar at the top of the page, as well as the application navigator on the left hand side. Previously, and this is actually still the case, whenever you create a theme in Theme Builder, the application navigator background is always white. And previously, to change that appearance, you had to go into a JSON file and manually edit it. But now those days are long gone because you can do it now in Theme Builder. And the way that they have implemented this feature is a stroke of genius. The product and development teams really deserve to be congratulated here. Let's take a look. I'm actually going to start by creating a theme using Theme Builder version 4.1.2, which is the version prior to the latest release. The theme I'm going to create is actually a very simple one. It's the same one that you see in the learning course of ServiceNow called Customize an Organization ServiceNow Theme. It's very basic, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it a name here and provide the primary color and the secondary color as well. The neutral color I'll leave as is and I'll upload the company logo here. Select the font, select the corner shape and then go ahead and create the theme. So once we do that, if we go to the experience preview here and check it out, Okay, it's looking okay here, but if I go to the all menu here, this is exactly what I was talking about before, that the background color of the application navigator is white, and this is the default. If we go to a list of incidents here, that's all looking just fine. Okay, let's go to the component styles now. So this is an interface that you can use to locate components in your page and customize them. This has been significantly updated in the latest released and tremendously improved I have to say I mean here we've got a preview of all the different components but there is no component here for the unified navigation bar and the application navigator so you can't change that here instead what you have to do is go to the UX styles table locate the theme the colors component that we've just created for our theme and then come to the style field here and somehow navigate your way through this JSON component, find the right element, or elements I should say, because we're dealing with more than one in that application navigator. So we've got the background color, but we've got the color of the fonts. Uh, when you hover over one of the modules, what background color that is, et cetera, et cetera. So you have to find all these components here and then manually change them. It was very tedious. So now what I'm going to do is come to my application navigator here and I'm going to update Theme Builder. You can see I'm currently on version 4.1.2. So this is a store application. So if you go to your application navigator, you should see here that there is an update available 5.0.3. So I'm going to go ahead and update this. You can see the release notes here specifically mention that you can edit the unified navigation header component and drill to drill down to style its subcomponents. And this is also true for the application navigator as well, which I think is formally part of that unified navigation component. So it includes the header, but also the application navigator menu on the left. So I'm going to go ahead and update Theme Builder. Okay, so I'm going to come back to the new and improved version of Theme Builder. In the meantime, I've deleted the original Cloud Dimensions theme that I just created, and we're going to start again. The process you'll find is exactly the same. So all of these steps, providing a name, your colors, the logo, the font, the rounded corners, etc., nothing has changed there. And if we come to the result here, we can see that the application navigator is still white. So what we want to do is change that. We want to give it a slightly different background color so it blends in a little bit more with the rest of the page. And maybe also change the colors of, the, of these icons here when you hover over them. Because at the moment, only the icons change, or at least only for the, the favorite. So to do that, we come to our component styles again. The principle here is still the same. You can identify components that you want to change here. 
and see a preview of them before you publish the theme. But the difference here is that there is a now a navigation component. Okay, so if we go there and select Unified Navigation, we get that menu bar. Okay, and we can preview that here. And now if we come to Editing here and click on Style Subcomponents, we can then select and drill down to the components in this menu bar as well as in the Application Navigator. So at the moment, we can select between a header and the menu, which is the Application Navigator. Uh, it's still loading here. I think it might be a little bug here, but I'll just select Menu here. And then on the right-hand side, we can see the components of that menu or the properties of that menu. And we can see that the background fill color is, in fact, white. So all I can do here is just click on that color and select a different one. Simple. So for this simple demonstration, I'm going to select the primary color that I specified earlier for my brand and save the change there. And now if we come to our preview here, click on all, that's looking a lot better. It's looking much more consistent with the color of the menu bar and the header. But if we go down uh, to these modules here, we can see that the background color doesn't change once we put the, the mouse cursor over it. So we want to change that as well. So how do we do that? We drill down. We go to Style, Subcomponents. And when you do that, the components or the subcomponents of that component are displayed down the bottom. So we can select our menu item. That's the item that we want to change. So I'm going to select that. And again, go to Style Interactions because we need to change the properties when you put the mouse cursor over it. We've got a base color here, which is the same as the foreground color, or the foreground and the background colors are the same. So I'm going to go ahead and just change the background fill color here and change that to my secondary color. There's only a slight difference, but now we'll find when we hover the or put the mouse cursor over there, the color changes. That's a more clearer signal that you know, we've actually got the mouse cursor in that position. What we can also do is drill down even further and change the colors of the icons, their background color, uh, as well as the colors that are displayed when, again, when you put the mouse cursor over them. So for this demonstration, I'll just select the action component and go to my background fill color and change that to my primary color again. And if I do that, it changes from white to blue now when I put the cursor there. And that's looking a little bit better. Again, just a little bit clearer for the user that that's where the mouse cursor is located. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a quick preview of Theme Builder version 5.0.3. And I hope that you agree with me when I say that this is probably a minor release, but a very significant one. As I said, finally, we can configure the appearance of the unified navigation component directly in Theme Builder. We don't have to worry about JSON files any longer. So hallelujah to that. See you next time.